What's up, guys? Leslie Robbins here in the Young Hollywood studio with two masters of French cuisine. Now, I have to say, I'm a little angry that we're here in the studio and you're not in my kitchen making me breakfast. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. On a typical weekday, what would you make for breakfast? Omelette. Oh, toast, jam. I like my eggs with caviar and smoked salmon, but only on Sunday. Only on Sunday because I have time to scramble so my eggs time. slowly. Yeah. The week is with so my hard. kid or, you know, I've, I think I've, I've seen Nudo cooking with his children and he loves to teach them uh, how to cook. Oh, yeah. yeah. French right. style. <laughs> Your twins already know how to cook? Uh, my son, Luca, yes. You know, and I ask him sometimes, you know, how do you know how to do that, Luca? Papa, papa, I know, it's in my head. I know already, I know already. He has the DNA I know, of Ludo. It's, 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 it's funny. Okay, the real reason you guys are here, the first time you are sharing a kitchen. How did yes. this come well, about? Because I decided to uh, do a little uh, guest chef series for celebrate my years uh, in LA. And I realized, I said to Chris, he, he need to get me Daniel here. I never <laughs> really cook with him. And we cook together, uh, like big events, you know, like you have like 20 chefs or but like really head to head in the kitchen, never. You know, so I said to Chrissy, we need to get Daniel here. And I'm, and I'm so excited because, yeah. I mean, I know Ludo since he arrived here in LA. Yes. And uh, at the age of 25, he became one of the youngest French chefs in America mm -hmm. to take over the most famous restaurant in LA. Yep. And since then, I always had a lot of admiration for Ludo and for what he has done and for how he approached French cuisine and uh, how he can you know, remain this young French chef and yet love the classic with his uh, petit trois and the creativity and the explosion of uh, spontaneity at trois mecs. Uh, and he's not conventional, you know. So, in a way, I like those unconventional French. <laughs> now, what could you learn the from the young guys? Because you're young yourself at heart, come on. Yes, very much, and I'm surrounded by young and youth. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, he's young. Oh, I know. I got a young wife, I got a young kid. <laughs> I got a lot of young chefs around me. So, <laughs> so much energy, you said, Daniel. So much energy. Yeah. Always and, smile. I know, I know. Where does it come from? And um, I don't know. It's that je ne sais quoi. Yeah. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> you know? I think it's passion. And I think it's what we share is this passion for cooking. And we are so lucky. We come from a region who is so wealthy with ingredients and oh, with yeah. tradition and with wine and food and it's uh, so the we same, share yeah. the same uh, pride in yeah. a way. Okay, considering I am way amateur, yeah, I'm not a very good cook. Give me some tips I can take home. Married a good chef. He's <laughs> taken. <laughs> so <Wait>. are you. <laughs> no, but you know, I think you just know to really pick good ingredients. Okay. Yeah. No, it's no. I always say no. Cooking, good chef. 80% of our job is really to hunt for good, good ingredients. <laughs> and cooking with Daniel, you know, you have Daniel at Tromek, it's pretty cool because sometimes he helps to refocus and listening to Daniel about this menu, it's really about ingredients. <laughs> you know, he always talks about ingredients and shopping, but yeah. you hunt for the best ingredients. And you do that every and day. That's what, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. That's, that's our job, is. to yeah. find ingredients. And then once you find the best ingredient, uh, of course you want the right equipment to do it, right. but uh, it's also patient and care and the exercise of simplicity it's much harder than trying to toss too many things inside a dish and uh, we were talking about chicken and a perfect roast chicken uh, with some wonderful farmers market vegetable oh I mean you know then yeah. everybody around oh, the yeah. table Sam. is gonna be drooling Sam. and happy Trust me. so that's what we like to cook at home I mean things will make everyone happy but make yourself happy too Cooking is not just to just cooking complicated. Simple food can be good too. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they say, well, you can just cook simply, but good ingredients. Well, I say let's leave right now and just go eat good food. Wait. Oui.